Hello YouTube, I am Toby and today we are looking at the uh, MSI Keyforce GT730. Uh, this is the one with the 4 gigabytes of DDR3 uh, RAM. Now inside the box we have a graphics card itself. Uh, we'll take a look at this in a little bit. But underneath here uh, we have our instruction manual and uh, well a CD with uh, MSI afterburner and uh, drivers. Alright, so the card itself comes in a uh, anti-static bag, which is also always a plus. And we have uh, protectors for some of our electrical components. Uh, I'll just go ahead and remove the VGA one since this is the uh, stick we'll be using today. Also, before you install the card, make sure you remove the uh, little PCIe Express uh, cover right there. Now the card itself has a nice fan on it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how powerful this fan is, but uh, certainly better than nothing. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but uh, right down here underneath the fan we have our heat sink. Now installing the card is pretty, uh, for pretty much straightforward. Just make sure you get her in there just right. Uh, see if I can make everything align here. It is a little bit more difficult than it looks. There we go. And just like that. Alright, so the first benchmark we're gonna run is the, uh, yeah, what's it called? The Resident Evil uh, 6 benchmarking test. And we're starting out at around 20 frames per second, so probably not gonna be the uh, greatest of performances. Okay, so we're done with the Resident Evil benchmarking test and we scored an <laughs> a score of 1820. Um, just for reference, my uh, GTX 1070 did 22,564. So, quite a bit lower. Uh, let's move on to another uh, benchmarking test. Alright, so at regular old uh, Fermat we're getting 7 frames per second so far. And we've reached the CPU, uh, sorry, GPU temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. So the temperature is steadily rising. So I'm just going to fo fast forward a bit uh, just to see what happens. Okay, so now we're about two minutes in, uh, still at seven frames per second, and our GPU temperature is hovering around 64, 65 degrees Celsius. So, I'd consider that some pretty safe temperatures. Uh, let's try another test. Right now we're running MSI Combustor, and we want to run a benchmark on the uh, MSI uh, 3D object. Alright, so in uh, the MSI Combustor we got a score of 463 points and an average of uh, 8 frames per second. Uh, GPU re uh, managed to reach a temperature of 59 degrees Celsius, which uh, in my taste is still quite safe. This is the Counter-Strike Source uh, integrated uh, graphics test. I just thought it might be fun to run.
Okay, so this is quite interesting actually. Our Counter-Strike Source uh, benchmarking test uh, gave us 215 and a half frames per second, which is quite a lot more than I had actually anticipated. So I'm actually quite surprised here. Uh, my GTX 1070 uh, almost got me 300, so I actually thought this would be way off, but it's actually a lot closer than I thought it would be. Okay, so what would a benchmark be without some actual gameplay? So, let's try and give it a go here. Alright, we're currently running around 100 frames per second. Dip and roll under. See what this becomes. So our little uh, gameplay here revealed that Counter-Strike Source plays absolutely terrific on this system. Uh, not that I was surprised about that, but I was surprised about the uh, high frame rate. But uh, let's save the conclusion for later. Alright, let's try the uh, same benchmark uh, on Counter-Strike 1.6. Suddenly we're seeing a rapid drop in frames per second. This is running at, a, what is that, uh, 21 frames per second? So, uh, a lot worse. I'd actually expect this to do a lot better than Counter-Strike Source, but I don't know if something is, uh, it could be all the mods running on this that's dragging down performance, but uh, who knows. So here's the deal, um, I've been trying to run a uh, training uh, session on the insurgency uh, and every time I almost get in it kicks me out uh, just before I managed to get in uh, just shy of the actual training uh, program and I was running 3 frames per second which is very very low but we're gonna see this time if we can get in. Yeah. So as you just saw, we uh, just barely get into the training session and then it kicks us out at around 3 or 4 frames per second. So I highly doubt this graphics card can uh, handle insurgency. So, uh, the so far semi conclusion is that this card is uh, not that great, to be honest, at gaming. Uh, I couldn't even get into insurgency, which is a well, moderately modern title. Uh, somehow Counter-Strike Source it was very good at, but 1.6 1, 1. it was not that great at. Uh, I don't know if it was because of some of the uh, mods I had on there, but uh, yeah, who knows. Well, if we take a look at some of the IOs on this thing, we have a DVI, a VGA, and an HDMI connector. Um, they all have uh, little covers, uh, which I kind of like, seems kind of nice, but yeah, this card is probably not, <laughs> well, well, sorry, it's definitely not for someone who's looking for high performance. Uh, I think this card might be more for people who do not have a graphics card or an integrated graphics chip on their computer, but then again, there are a lot of uh, cheaper options, well, than this exact card. But we're not done so far. Uh, let's take the uh, fan and the heatsink off and take a look at the GPU underneath. Okay, so now we have our uh, chip exposed. We have the uh, heatsink off. Uh, I did uh, take off the uh, thermal paste with some, uh, well, I believe it's isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol or whatever. Anyway, we have a RAM right here. I uh, probably shouldn't touch it with the screwdriver, I'm sorry about that. We have a little uh, NVIDIA chip right here. So it's time to apply some new thermal paste and put the uh, the heatsink back on. Okay, so now we have the heatsink back on. Uh, something I forgot to mention, but you probably noticed is that this thing does take up two PCIe slots. So, 
yeah, you can have something next to it. Uh, I used to have a wireless card in my computer right next to it, but uh, this uh, fan housing is in the way when I put it in. So my computer can't be connected to the internet when I have uh, this thing in. All right, so that was my review, presentation, and benchmarking of the uh, MSI GT730. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.